Hey there guys, so uh, the champion roadmap that was released uh, last week was in Chinese and I didn't want to cover it. Sometimes the Chinese sites can sometimes get the stuff misleading like how they have with lore in the past before. So I was waiting for the English and this morning the English version of the roadmap had just dropped. So let's go over this together. I haven't read it myself. It was just posted 18 minutes ago. Hey all, it's been a while since the last roadmap. We were officially kicked off the return of the Rune King. But we don't have a ton of new information to share at this moment. We do have a lot of updates on things we announced at the beginning of the year. In January, we said that the next three champions after we go were all tied into his return story. Gwen is the first of these champions, but her future remains a mystery. Jeff has a role to play in this Twisted Tale. What exactly remains to be unknown for sure. But enough about Viego and Gwen, then Roach and Doom. Let's go on a wacky detour into Dr. Mundo's VGU. Then we'll get into the next two champions, including an update on the Gloomy Mage's release timing. Finally, we'll take a pit stop at Udi's VGU. We all chose from the beginning of the year. Into the Mundoverse. It's been a bit since the last Mundo dev blog, but I can finally say we're getting pretty close to re releasing the Madman Zop. Thanks for everyone's patience. Man, this champion has a lot of skins. Yeah, he does have a lot of skins. They actually showed one of his skins last time with the Rageborn Mundo, so I expect to see something like that again here. First off, I wanted to share some of Mundo's new voice lines, new Mundo's VO. VO. Oh. His voices come across as a shade or two smarter than the current window. It was basically impossible for that not to be the case since live windows lines don't even acknowledge the fact that he's a doctor, let alone he's reasoning, questionable as it might be, for the methods he chooses. As we mentioned before though, we want to preserve Mundo's dark yet extremely comical and dumb personality, and his VO is an important part of that. Let's hear it, let's hear it. No worry, me doctor! Okay. Dear Medical Journal, Mundo attempt brain transplant on Mundo today. Me think it go good. That sounds fine. I mean, it sounds kind of, I mean, it made, they made him sound more dumb and deeper. So I'm okay with that. And here it is. Here's the, uh, the Rageborn splash art for Rageborn Mundo. This is the updated version. It looks really, really nice. I quite like it. I think they did a good job with that. And I know some people saw it from last week's, you know, kind of leak from the Chinese one. Same with the Udia stuff, sadly, but... Here it is if you haven't seen it, it's pretty cool. Another thing that we thought would be cool is to share before his official launch the final Rageborn Mundo splash art. In the last dev blog, we showed the final concept art for the skin, and since then, we finished it. Nice. Finally, we're currently putting the last bit of polish on his legendary skin, Corporate Mundo. We want to make sure that the skin hits the quality bar and expectations for modern legendary skins. The team is having a blast working on it, as you can see by the fun animation. Ooh. Yo, he's he's looking spiffy. Oh, this animation's for Wild Rift. <laughs> we would never have something like this in the league. Listen, I'm pretty sure they would use like I don't know why they'd model the whole car in animation if they could use it for Wild Rift. Oh, and then here's some of Corporate Mundo's voices. Mundo smash sales record. Invisible hand of free market great guy. Firm grip and not real. I like it. I mean, if he, like he'll probably have more joking ones and stuff. And I hope he still says Mundo File when he throws his beef case, because that's kind of iconic at this point. From Street Rat to Sentinel, during the season 2021 roadmap, we talk or I talked, I guess we they they talk briefly about a charming new Sentinel of Light that will swing onto the rift this summer. Now that there's a lot more to grapple with, let's talk more in detail. Our goal with this champ was to create a marksman that would primarily be played mid lane while champions like Lucian, Quirky, and Tristana have seen play mid none of them feel like they were made specifically for that position. With the traits you often see from champions in that lane, like intentionally designed roaming patterns, a dual lane focus, we found a marksman designed for mid would both be add a unique champion to the roster and could also be pretty appealing to a lot of mid lane assassin and skirmish players. Hmm. Things look pretty bleak for Santa and Lucian right now, but maybe new Sentinels can revive their hope. I don't know. This could be like, this could be really crazy. I guess I'll get to it at the end when I'm done reading. Life can be so vexing. Yes, yes, it can be. So can video game development. Sigh. Last we chatted, the new mid lane mage was scheduled to release ahead of the marksman. Since then, we've decided our gloomy new year old needed a bit more time in development as we needed to create some new tech to visually sell her source of power. Also, as her gameplay kit developed, She's moved away from being an artillery mage and is now close to a classic mage. She still gets annoyed as hell with hyperactive champions dashing all around her that hasn't changed one bit. It's enough to make her 
get serious and started clobbering all lifeforms full of irritating happiness dashing around her. Pesky flies. Even with the delay, this champ still has a big part to play in Vega's story, so expect to see her cast a shadow across her interior a few months before she finally decides to get out of bed. Ah, that's kind of lame. I kind of wish it stayed to be an artillery mage because we don't really have a lot. Although I get it, artillery mages aren't really appealing, aren't popular, and kind of hard to balance. I mean, look at Zeraph and Ziggs. I mean, she sounds like she'll still do unique stuff, whether that be like through a Poppy W or something more unique. It's good enough to me. I like that she's a Yord also. Okay with that. The many forms is Udia. As you, as many of you know, Udia won the Player Choice VG poll earlier this year. Since then, we started to giving the Old Spirit Walk a huge makeover. We're still super early in development, so we don't have quite enough content to fill an entire blog. We still have one coming in a few months. In the meantime, I want to share some of the rough sketches. I actually posted these because I saw them too from the Chinese leak last week. And a lot of you guys actually like these a lot too. And I've seen a lot of mixed reception about almost all of these. I think I've seen good things about every single one of these except for the Warrior Shaman. I personally really like the Mountain Brawler and the MMA Shaman. Uh, some of these other ones are okay, but they just don't radiate uh, Udia vibes to me. See you on the other side. That's all for today. We should have a lot more to share after we start ramping down Vega Saga. And after going through such a grim story, what else is there to do but take the next leg of the year head on? Get ready for a new marksman bot lane this time that will give you an electrifying glimpse into the interior's most tenacious regions. One that never knows when to quit. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. So, pretty good blog. Tells us a good amount of information. Um, surprised that they want to do a marksman. I guess because the marksman they're making here is a mid laner, not bot laner, so that makes sense. And uh, this, is, this is obviously Zon. There's no way this isn't Zon. So, I've. Happy for that because I want to see more Zon champions. I think Zon is really, really cool. Um, I'm sure this will be the highly debated topic if people are talking about it or once this champion comes out. Marksman mids and Marksman tops are just not fun. People do not like playing against Quinn top, Tristan and Lucian mid, Lucian top. People hate it. So making a Marksman design for the role might be really aggravating. On top of it being ranged, they're going to go mid, so they're going to have roaming patterns and have this grapple hook. like. People are just going to hate it. It's going to be a bad time all around, but they could somehow figure out how to make it not so frustrating. It would be really a really unique thing for the game because then maybe you could bring marksmans in mid and not have to bring a marksman bot. Although I highly doubt that, but who knows? Something like that is pretty interesting to think about. And I'm really interested to see uh, the Yordle I've always been just because the Yordle. And I'm pretty happy how Windows come along. He looks great. Uh, this corporate window right here, it's in this video, looks really, really good. And the rage born was nice when we saw concept. So I haven't been this excited about window for a while. I'm, I think window's a cool, fun champ. I personally don't like him a whole lot, but I'm sure with this, they'll give him a lot more flair and personality. And uh, that about does it for me, guys. Tell me down in the comments what you guys are most excited about and what you like. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the Udia and uh, window rework. I like the reworks a lot more recently these times. But uh, yeah. That guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.